What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Hey, you know, been doing a lot of videos about Europe guys, about the Nordic countries, Scandinavia and stuff. And I, I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling a little sorry for Norway. I was like, man, everybody is always roasting Norway. Let me check out some Norway facts and show some love and see and see why 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 they get roasted so much, you know? Like you know, I don't know. And they may tell me, but maybe I just need to hear some good things about Norway. Not saying that they y'all just put Norway down and say they ain't nothing and nothing. Like I know I have a lot of people that say, uh, you know, we all roast each other, but it's all love, which is good. But I was like, man, Norway probably gets the worst end of it. So we finna check out ten interesting facts about Norway. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. I want to travel. Maybe I'll end up living in Norway making cakes. <laughs> Ooh. There are many, if not hundreds, of fascinating countries that have much more to offer than what they appear. As looks can be deceiving, we pull back the veil to discover more about the world and the places that we know little about. Only to discover that these certain places not only have a unique story of its people, but also have a community that thrives for greatness. And within the Nordic countries, oh, wow. they are a prime example of this. And here on FTD Facts, we are looking at one of the greatest nations in this region, and that is the country of Norway. Norway. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to FTD Facts. My name is Dave Wapple, and if it's your first time here to the channel, we talk about a lot of people, cultures, and places from all around the world. For example, we've been talking about countries like India, we've mm -hmm. talked about Germany, we've, well, pretty much, if you name it, we've pretty much <laughs> talked about it, but we still got a lot more to go. With that in mind, guys, here on this channel, we take a lot of recommendations for future FTD Facts videos, so if you guys have a request for a country that we have not done, put it down there. Also, if we miss any facts in this video, be sure to let us know down there as well. And with that in mind, we had over a hundred of you guys recommend that we do Norway. Ooh. We had people like Alexander Barseth, Andre Hortland, Corsier, Manish Tucker, Diego Barrera, and a no lot way. more of you. Now, before I get in this video, I want to know what is your favorite thing about your country? Is there food or something like that that you really, really like? Me, being Canadian, I like my health. That's <laughs> it. I'm cool. I'm totally fine with it. But I want to know your favorites down there. Now, normally, we like to start off our videos by talking about the population and size. But however, for this video, we should probably mention for the first time the proper way to pronounce mm -hmm. Norway and that is the Kingdom of Norway. Kingdom That's of Norway. right, they got a king and a queen and the current rulers of Norway are Harald V of Norway who's been in charge of Norway since 1991 wow. and let's not forget about his queen, Queen Sonia. But let's move on to talking about the population and size of Norway. How big is this country? For 2017, they estimate that Norway has a population of 5,267,146 wow. people, making it the okay, 117th Norway. most populated countries on the planet. And if we dip a little deeper into the demographics, in 2012, they had roughly 710,000 immigrants, wow. which was about 14% of the population, where the other 86 has had a parent that was born in Norway. Now, out of all these immigrants, 39% percent of them came from places like Western Europe or maybe places like America. But as for the 61 percent, they come from places like Iraq, Morocco, and mm. other places like that. And 62% of all the immigrants within the country apparently have a valid citizenship. Oh, that's but pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So, Norway got a lot of people. I mean, to me, I mean, at least on the map, Norway looked pretty big, you know. It looked, I'll say, it's close to, it's probably what, the second or third biggest Nordic country? I think it's bigger than Denmark, I believe, ain't it? However, these people are spread out over a land size of 323,802 kilometers square, making Norway the 67th largest country in the world when it comes to size. And with all these people, they have a population density of 15.8 people per square kilometer. Mm. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but believe it or not, Norway's got some other tricks up its sleeve that makes it a very unique place that stands out. Because first of all, when it comes to this country, Ooh. it has the seventh largest coastline in the world. According to the World's Factbook, its coastline is 25,148 wow. kilometers. And you know, Norway may not be a country that is really known well for its beaches. I mean, I think if you're a local there, you really do like going to the beaches in Norway. But the reason for this is not because they're unpopular, it's just because the water is cold. <laughs> because to give you an idea, the water in places like Oslo at its warmest time of year, which is July or August, only has a temperature of little under 18 degrees Ooh. Celsius. Ooh, that's cold. That for me. Thank you. <laughs> 
But however, if you're down oh, for nice. swimming and getting into the chill, all the power to you. Because that doesn't stop 3,000 people from visiting the peninsula of Big Day, mm. which is one of the more popular regions within the country for swimming. As a matter of fact, within that peninsula, they have a really unique and famous spot that people jump off of cliffs. Wow. However, having one of the largest coastlines in the world isn't the only thing that Norway can be proud of. This is because Norway has the third highest GDP per capita. And in order to understand that, we should probably look at how this country makes money. So let's look at its imports exports. Now Norway is a country that actually exports more than it imports, mm. with exports equaling over 89.4 oh billion yes. dollars in goods. These are typically things like crude petroleum, which sits at 26%. Mm. Also, you've got petroleum gas, which is about 23%. I think I've just seen somebody in my comments uh, talking about Norway. I was talking about the oil and stuff. I think I... I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I think somebody just commented like a couple of minutes ago about the oil and stuff. Six percent. Also, you've got petroleum gas, which is about 23%. But also, one of the really interesting exports in the country is non filleted fish. Mm. It comes in at 7.2%, and because of all the fishing in Norway, they are the highest wow. exporter of salmon out of any country. Some and as salmon. for imports, their biggest ones are cars at about 7.1%, with the rest of the stuff being things like computer machinery and even food. But overall, all the imports of the country make up $72.3 wow. billion. Dollars. Now, it's not just fishing, and it's not just crude petroleum and gas and stuff like that that gives this country great GDP. There's other things in the country, such as agriculture, that also makes a lot of money as well. But as for their nominal GDP, it sits at $391 billion, mm -hmm. making them the 46th highest in the world. And because we mix that with the population, the GDP per capita equals 73450 making it, as I said, the third highest in the mm -hmm. world. That is something to be very proud very of. Very proud, Norway. See, Norway, Norway, there's something for Norway to be proud of. The GDP. There you go. You know what I'm saying? The third highest in the world. That is something to be very proud of. But this also makes Norway one of the most expensive countries to live in in the entire world. As a matter of fact, the prices for gas in Norway are astronomical. As a matter of fact, their gas prices are the highest in the world, equaling what? roughly about $10.12 per gallon for premium. Yeah, I would definitely have to use the public transportation. And that's just for premium. I'm guessing unleaded, they still gotta be like seven, eight, eight, nine bucks right there. But I mean, this this was years ago. I'm sure that gas got to be higher because our gas is reaching about six, seven dollars now, almost five to six dollars. Whoa, whoa, that is a lot of money for gas. I hope everybody rides around on bicycles. <laughs> now, when it comes to exports, we should probably mention one of the single most important exports that comes from Norway, and that is the Christmas tree that is in London's Trafalgar Square. Now, this beautiful tree is generally wow. always a 50 to 60 year old spruce tree that is over 20 feet tall. And every single year since 1947, the tree has always come from Norway. And the reason for this is because it is always a gift given to them from the Oslo community. I'm guess this is where like New York got theirs from when they was when they put up their big old Christmas tree and stuff. Every single year to mark Britain's assistance during the Second World War. That's what I love about Europeans. They don't forget. You guys are so good. You guys are like elephants. You guys remember stuff and you don't forget <laughs> it at all. Not saying you guys are elephants <laughs> or anything like that because you know I mean you're not big and tall and. I mean, I think elephants are cute and all, but some people might go, nah, I don't want to, I'm not ugly like an elephant. <laughs> That's not elephants. And besides all these great traits that Norway has, there are some things that this country has done that no other country has. For example, let's not talk about thing, how man. in 2008, they actually knighted a penguin. So not only was this what? penguin knighted, but he also had the rank of corporal and was promoted to brigadier. He looked so like, that penguin looked like he finna shake everybody's hand up in there. Like, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Been long awaited. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. That is crazy. Like, this is a well, very trained penguin, penguin right now. Like. Definitely don't belong on the happy feet. Penguin knighted, but he also had the rank of corporal and was promoted to brigadier. So you what? are looking at Sir Brigadier Nils Olav III. Not only is he the only knighted penguin in the world, but he has also received what the rank in the of world? corporal. I don't, all right, y'all lost me with this one, uh, Norway. I don't. No, nah, I can't say y'all lost. I think this, this is strange but cool. This is strange but cool because this this penguin looked like he actually like supervising like the other penguins and stuff. Like that, he's like acting like a human. 
and was promoted to brigadier. And yes, he is the third in his generation of king penguins to king receive penguin. an official rank. Now, the reason that for this is, is because Rowan de Upset, who was the first man to reach the South Pole back in 1911, and was the first man to actually also explore the North Pole, mm. donated a king penguin to the Scotland Edinburgh Zoo when it officially opened. And by 1961, the Norwegian Guard visited the barracks in Edinburgh, and a soldier, Niles Olaf, became very interested in the penguins there. And when they returned in 1972, the unit officially adopted one of the penguins, giving its official name Nils Olaf. Olav, who has since Olav. then always been Nils Olav and always is a part of the regiment. And since then, although I know it sounds really weird, it's just tradition to have <laughs> a penguin, a king penguin, in the royal guard. Makes sense to me, right? And That's lastly, different. when it comes to Norway, within the country, we should mention there are these things called fjords, fjords, which are basically long, narrow cliffs created by erosion, and these things are located all over the world, but the name comes from Norway which is pretty much described as a long, narrow channel that usually has water within it. And the name Fjord most likely comes from the name Sonja Fjord, which is the king of all fjords. And this is one breathtaking piece of landscape within Norway. First of all, it is the largest fjord in the country and the third largest fjord in the world. But also, it is the longest fjord that is ice-free, stretching out to be over 205 kilometers, with a max width of 4.5 kilometers and a max depth of 1,308 meters. But either way, guys, that is us just taking a quick nice, peek at nice. Norway. Once again, Norway. another Same. amazing okay. country okay. with really cool features. Now, of course, we've probably missed some really interesting moments about this country, so perhaps if you're from Norway yourself and you would like to educate us, be sure to remind us of what facts we missed by putting it down there in the comments section below. But I'm Dave Waffle, and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another episode and just expanding your minds and learning about different cultures and different places from all around the world. It's true that sometimes we may never get the opportunity to go to these places, but it shouldn't hold us back from learning about facts, these places. Facts. Also guys, before you get out of here, check out Grammarly.com because Grammarly. these guys are our sponsor. And they have a really interesting and easy program for you to use to help improve your grammar. Trust me, we use it all the time here on FTD Facts. And also, if you guys really like this video, stay tuned to the end of the video because we've also got some other videos for you to check out. I've said the word video about 40 <laughs> times, so i got to stop saying it, but you get the idea. But however, this is Norway, a country that is filled with many cultural differences from your own and even my own. But it is a place that takes care of its own people, being rated as one of the best countries to live in, with very oh. little to worry about. From its royal penguin to its taco eating Fridays in the country, it Fridays. is a country that has its own unique drum that is roaring through the landscape. This is the people and culture and country of Norway, nice, nice. where the way is always pointing to happiness. I like that quote, I like that quote. Okay, Norway, okay, okay. So I see, for you know, that's why I say it's important to learn, you know, because I think I did a geography now, Norway, and I think I checked out like a Norway prison video, but this was like my first fact video, so I'm going to check out some more. I do have another video coming possibly tomorrow about an American living in Norway, you know, just, just to see, you know, get some more information and learn some more about Norway, you know, just, just trying to expand my uh horizon of videos out here but norway if you're from norway i appreciate you hey let me know some more information some more videos i can check out to learn about norway but that's all i have for this video y'all hit that subscribe button send down those recommendations and y'all be blessed be the best and be you i'm out